What's up? Recording this for Skunk Radio. My name is Nermac. I'm a spoken word poet and hip hop artist from the United States. Lately, there's been a lot of controversy, both politically and otherwise. So I figured it was a good time for me to unleash this piece. I call it the same difference. hole in my chest is the bag on my back one moment i'm blessed next i can't relax like i've lacked a required aspect since birth try to identify it as the name of the search why on earth have i felt like i'm fighting myself split down the middle with a little of help like one day the right way is trying to make peace same night wake up crying in my sleep a prison of glass I can see out but can't leave Can't breathe, too many inconsistencies Sure that the present will pass into history The mystery is if my future's past will visit me Literally anxious and awaiting that acquaintance I focus on the moment, I own it, practice patience But relations start to fade away into oblivion Get lonely in a crowded space, my own head I'm living in Not fitting in and wishing that God would come and listen in Oh, not this again. The question in which I'm wrestling. What is my higher power? Have I truly seen the evidence? Do I believe its presence is prevalent in the testaments? Strive for benevolence, experience, and visions? Surprise, I'm not identified as a Muslim or a Christian. I don't worship Buddha or the Hindu's position. I listen to my mystics. I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. My hit list consists of false prophets and mischief. Not saying there's a right way, but certain there's a wrong one Cautious that I might stray, caught up and get on one What it comes down to in the long run? The same damn demons trying to resurface The same damn reasons make it seem worthless The same damn feelings when hatred emerges I keep on breathing, searching for a purpose Now who's to say what the word is, the correct way of spelling it While living in a country that's culturally celibate That's irony, like reading the Bible for the hell of it So hire me to take the story down, continue telling it the story of Joe Schmo, average American citizen. The product of freedom, a living, breathing synonym. Although the place I'm in's vastly more beautiful than a dictatorship, I'm actually afraid of it. The US of the spiritually vulnerable is the name of it. I'm changing it up now, I'ma give you an example. One that's ample if you believe Jesus died on the cross. Assume you have a son and on the way to church he gets lost. He goes two blocks too far and ends up at a mosque. He talks to a Palestinian Indian with Muslim beliefs Follows him through the door and listens to him speak Knees weak, he weeps and flees into the street Runs all the way home and that night loses sleep At school the next day he can't seem to speak You see, he's been enrolled in Catholic school for weeks And being honest, he raises his hand, asks Who's Muhammad? The class gets quiet as they send him to the office. As he goes through the door, the mother asks him where the mosque is. His eyes are on the floor and she sees he's embarrassed. He's religiously explored, so she proceeds to call his parents. It's apparent now they've all been in the office for hours. He tells them where the mosque is. It's the one by the towers. He pivots most unusually. I mean, it's in the place right next to where the towers used to be. The mother and the child's parents both share a glance. They're out the door to get the priest before they miss their chance. They march down the street and harmoniously advance. As they approach the mosque, they begin to preach in their defense. Now the controversy started. What a turn of events. They both believe full-hearted the right answer is their own. But the real victim of this tragedy is now walking home alone with the same damn demons trying to resurface. The same damn feelings make it seem worthless. The same damn reasons hatred emerges. I keep on breathing, searching for a purpose. Okay, has the jury reached its verdict? If left's right and right's left, then is it really worth it? I heard it, the answer came to me while I was sleeping. My consciousness has deepened, solidified in certainty. Now that I know what I believe and there's no way to word it verbally, it's working me, I'm feeling flustered trying to explain it. I'm finding there's no way to convey it in this spoken language. I can't name it if it's nameless, but I have an inclination that this concept is famous. Universal reason, if what you believe in doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you believe in, so Quit preaching about something you can't explain your knowing. Face a feeling, not a fact. It's attraction, not promotion.
motion We're all floating in an external ocean of emotion My mind remains open, but my heart is made up It consists of the differences between fear and love And because I've made fear my enemy It's the reason I am able to seek positive energy When one exists, there has to be another You can't embrace light without acceptance of the other Sure as day follows night, the consequential challenge Good and evil will fight, but the battle's always balanced And the allowance of them both to exist continuously is the same life force that of course remains a mystery. So where's the blame in this hypocrisy when we equally choose who to serve? It's a shame no one philosophy can't peacefully rule the earth with the same damn demons trying to resurface. The same damn feelings make it seem worthless. The same damn reasons hatred emerges. I keep on breathing, searching for a purpose.